Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to do a quick iPhone... A quick iPhone 11 Pro Max unboxing. Just keep in mind that I am not a tech channel. So right now I have the iPhone X that I am trading in. I pre-ordered the iPhone 11. This is my iPhone right now. It's white. I always get white. I've never gotten a different color. But this time I wanted to do something different. So here's the box. I usually get white because I just like how clean it looks, but I wanted to branch out. I thought about getting the gold one, but I saw in like videos and stuff that it looked kind of peach a little bit sometimes, and I'm not really a fan of that. If it was more of like a rose gold, then I might have decided to go with that anyway, but I did not. And then I thought about getting black. I thought about getting black. Oh, it's huge. This is huge. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh, like I was saying, I was gonna get the black, but then I thought that with it being like a matte finish, it doesn't look as, as nice as it could have. So this is how I ended up with this one. I'm not even a green person really, but I went and I saw it in the store and I thought it looked super nice. So I don't want to open it. <laughs> I just want to look at the box. Wow. It's huge. Okay. I'm going to open it. Okay. Wow. That is a really nice color. Right now it looks kind of silver-ish because of the my ring light here. It's not really capturing the full effect of that deep midnight green color. Wow, okay. Yeah. I'm really surprised at the way this the back feels. For a minute, I thought that there was more plastic wrap on the back, but there's not. I will say I really like that they put the Apple logo in the middle because usually that's at the top. Let me show you here. Same. Yeah, so I like that it's in the middle. Not that it matters because I already have a case for it. I'm just dropping. Okay, what? Well. I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. We're going to turn her slash him. I haven't decided on. Maybe. Did I forget how to turn the phone on? Okay. Here we go. It feels super light. Like it doesn't feel... It feels super light. I mean, my iPhone X is already pretty light, but I would say that it's a little heavier when this is a lot bigger. Hello. Okay, so most people with the iPhone know the typical iPhone setup. Oh my gosh. Set up new iPhone. Okay, anyway, most of us typically know the iPhone setup, so I'm going to go ahead through that. And do that off camera. Um, if you don't know how to set up your iPhone, read the manual. No, I'm kidding. That's me. No. <laughs> but it, it walks you step by step through United States. What? Alright, I'm going to do this off camera. And I will get back to y'all when I'm done trying to figure out what's going on between both of my phones. Okay? Okay, so even though I'm used to iPhones and I've had my X for about two years, I was still a little confused <laughs> when I was going through. It was asking me something about the other phone, but now it is transferring the data between both phones. I already put dark mode on this phone 
and set up the face ID and whatnot. It's just transferring data from the X. I wanted to give you another look at the size difference. I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> but yeah, so. I think with them, with this uh, 11 being so much bigger, it's still kind of interesting that the X feels about the same, if not a little heavier. So I'm gonna put those to the side and let them do their thing and show you this. So even though I pre-ordered my phone, I ended up going to Verizon the day that the phones released because I wanted to buy a phone case and I ended up being one of the first people there because they said they opened at eight, I showed up at 10 and they didn't open till 10. So I ended up being one of the first people there and I was like, I pre-ordered my phone, but since I'm already here, can I just pick one up and cancel the order? And they were like, sure. So they go to the back and they say that another person working there ran back there and dove for the only midnight green iPhone 11 Pro Max 256 gigabyte. Why do you only have one when you just dropped them five minutes ago? Why did you only get one shipment in? It's above me. Anyway, so I ended up leaving with the phone case and a screen protector. And I'm on my phone a lot, or my iPad, my computer. I'm in school online for graphic arts, so I'm designing on the computer all the time anyway. So I ended up getting one of these Vision Guard um, screen protectors to help with like the blue light and stuff. I have a pair of glasses specifically for that reason as well. They're a pair of Felix Grey glasses. I like them a lot. I think they help and work a lot. So check out their Instagram if you want to order a pair of those glasses. If you get a lot of eye strain, I get a lot of headaches whenever I'm not using them. So that's how I know that they're awesome. So I was curious to see how this screen protector would work. Of course, I'm not going to put it on myself. That's not going to happen. So yes. And then I got this spec um, phone case. He said it was the only one that they had and it was in the back. Mm. Don't know how it's the only one, just like the phone was the only one, but I'm happy I got it. I love it, it fits me perfectly. Yes, I have taken it out and held it a little bit to feel like I'm holding my new phone. Don't judge me. So, oh, it says transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Before you trade in, give away, or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. So continue. Everything looks exactly the same. And this one is still not done. Okay. I am going to go ahead and put this case on it though. pretty okay so I thought that it was gonna be when I didn't have the case on it didn't feel like that much of a difference between my, this phone like it didn't feel like okay it's bigger but it's not gonna be hard to get used to but no now that the case is up here yeah that's let's get my other case Of course, they're almost the same color, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. I actually put this case in my charging, I actually put this case in my charging port in my car just to make sure that it would fit with the wireless charger. That is the most useful thing. I absolutely love it. So that would have sucked if my phone was too big for the wireless charger. Hey guys, so I'm done with the setup. This is my new phone, this is my old phone. And I'm already noticing a couple differences, but I'm gonna need some time to really explore it and see what we have going on and obviously take a bunch of pictures and see if this camera was worth it. But before I do that, I absolutely have to get the screen protector on so I am going to head to her, 
Verizon. I am going to head to Verizon because I am super, super clumsy. So the longer I sit without a screen protector, the more of a chance something horrible is going to happen. So thank you so much for watching. If you got the new iPhone 11, comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what color you got and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.